Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right, and <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwan. It might surprise you yet. 
Anyway, got to run. See you round. Yep, up, up and away. Sir, you are trespassing. Hey, you are gonna... Got nothing here. There. So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work for you, Sebel. Now to locate General Zaydan.
what do you do? Prisoner, uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man. Hello, trooper. What's up? Dead here. Mind if I take a swing at the... You're dismissed. General Satan's order. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
plan. Zidane won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Time to decide. What should I do? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. You're dismissed. Uh, yes, General sir. Satan's order. Thank you, sir. Impressive 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Good to see you, officer. Massage expert Connie Angstrom. It is not fair. The reception it is, it is. desk. Can't be in here under these circumstances. Hey, 
if I had known. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, hey. No. Oh, crap. What happened to you? I'm sure I felt a pulse. Someone help me! Hey, I need some help here. Hey, what? What, what, what is it? Someone might be in need of some help. On it. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. understanding. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrets. Ah, so the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Ah, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Hiya. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you. Nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Ginger, and not the dark and bitter stuff. Like that. Yes, 
Sorry, sir, I can't let you through. Got my orders. Hey there, you manly man, you. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money? <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 